Welcome back to my channel, Glitter Babes. Today I am making a headboard out of pool noodles. How exciting! These are the items that I'll be using. And thank you all so much for your love and support in the last video I posted. I'm gonna first start off in the corner and I'm gonna be attaching the pool noodles. I was going to use the stapler, but it really didn't make any difference. So I just decided to hold the pool noodle down and this saw did an amazing job. It was so easy to cut. Like, it felt like butter. Nah, not really like butter, but it was so easy. So I did staple the corner to keep the pool noodle in place. Um, and then I took the fabric and wrapped it around the pool noodle. And I'm just stapling it as tight as I can. And as I was doing this project, I learned a couple different tricks. So I will be telling you all what I learned throughout the video. And as you can see, I am cutting the pool noodle as I go to fit the sides of the board. It's so funny, I thought cutting would be like the worst thing, but it was actually the easiest. And as I'm stapling, I'm pushing towards the foam just to make sure it's very tight. And when I was doing this project, I never intended for the noodles to be curved, but I think this is where it started to curve and I really didn't realize until I finished, but I love the curve at the end. So I did seven rows and after I was done, I cut off the extra fabric and I'm going to do the same thing for the other side of the headboard. Now I am taking my pool noodles and I'm just measuring for the other side. I felt like this was gonna be a lot easier so I didn't have to cut piece by piece like I did this side. And I did recycle those extra pieces of the noodle and I am using those for the other side also. So for those who are wondering, I did reuse a lot of the pieces. So these are the pieces and I'm gonna do the other corner the same way I did this one and it's gonna create a V. Next, I'll be using these trays that I got from the Dollar Tree. They come four in a pack and I'm going to be using that as the decorative trim. I'm taking my fabric and I'm leaving like three inches in between um, that piece of fabric and the other tufted fabric. And the reason why I'm leaving that space is because I'm going to go in and glue these plates in between. Next, I'll be adding another pool noodle underneath. And as you can see, I'm leaving another three inches in between because I will be adding more plates to the other side. And I'll be doing a total of four pool noodles going in this direction. I feel like I cannot say pool noodle. Pool noodles. All right, that's it. I'm just gonna say noodles, okay? Four noodles going in this direction. And if you're thinking about doing this project, make sure your fabric is stretchy. You don't wanna do this with like a silk or something like that because it won't turn out right. Making this headboard was so relaxing, I'm not gonna lie. It was very soothing. I think the only thing I did have to do is go back to the store and get more noodles. 
um, because I believe I bought 12 at first and then I went back and got another 12. But then I ended up having three left over, so that would make it 21. I think I used around 21 noodles, but I will definitely make sure and leave it in the description box. Okay, now that that side is done, I'm gonna take more pool noodles and go on the other side. So I first started off by stapling uh, the fabric to the other fabric and like I said I learned a lot throughout this video um, but I was doing this so that the noodles would be tufted in the front but I did find a better technique and I will share that with you in a sec and also remember I am leaving a three inch space in between the noodles for the trays and I did call the trays plates earlier so I hope I didn't confuse y'all but it's a tray so I'm adding the second noodle and I'm stapling it down and here is where I realized like I can't staple the fabric in the front because it wasn't enough room for the third noodle so I had to pull the staples back up and I'm so stubborn I was really trying to make it fit it was not gonna work <laughs> So I decided to pull the staples up and then tuft that extra fabric in the front underneath the pool noodle and staple it down because it worked just as, just as good. And I'll be doing a total of four in this direction. And I'm cutting off the extra fabric. And now I'll be adding the trays going in the opposite direction. And I am using a combination of hot glue and E6000. And by now I think you all get the pattern. I'm going to be doing the same thing that I did above.
And I also found it quicker and easier to um, cut off the extra pieces at the end. And this will be my last row. So instead of cutting that extra fabric off, I just folded it over and it covered the rest of the plywood. Then I turned the board around and I'm just stapling the fabric down and I'm cutting off the excess fabric. I thought this headboard was too cute to not have side panels. So I'm taking two foam boards and taping them together. And I'm adding this mirror reflective paper on the top of the board and the bottom. I 
I then got this body mirror from Walmart and I did spray paint it silver and I centered it in the middle and I'm just making marks so that I know where it goes. And I also took some of the mirrored adhesive paper and added it to the plywood to cover that those pieces that were showing because the trays didn't cover everything. Now I am hanging this baby up. She looks so pretty. Shout out to the Cuzzos for helping me out um, with hanging it up. It wasn't really heavy, but I wanted to make sure that it was um, centered. Next, I am hanging up the foam board. I'm gonna be doing this on each side of the headboard. And as you can see, I put the markings on there for the mirror so it will make it easier to hang. And now I'm attaching the mirror to the wall. Now I'll be using these trays that I got from a Dollar Tree to create a frame around the mirror. And I used single trays on the bottom because it wasn't enough room for the three, um, three panel tray. And I'm doing the same thing for the other side. And this is how it looked when everything was done. It turned out so beautiful and I had so much fun making it. By the way, if you like that chandelier that's hanging above, make sure you check that video out. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this DIY and give me your critiques. And before y'all go, I wanted to share with you a photo of mine that went viral. And it was from a protest that I did for George Floyd. It was shared by Tyrese, Lauren London, Ricky Smiley and a bunch of others. So I did decide to make some shirts and the shirts say, I wish a Karen would. So if you're interested in purchasing one, the link will be in the description box below. Thank you all so, so much for your love and support. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and also make sure you're following my other DIY page. I will be uploading some content on there soon. See you later, Glitter Babes.